What's up, fire signs? I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, theralsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation the work and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must save the cards for the fire gods. All right, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, let's see what's going down for the weekend. We're going to find out what's going on with you off top. Then between you and your partner, what's up? And then possible outcomes. So here we go. You already know how I do. Let your friends help you, Leo. Ask for and accept support from others, darling. And you also might need to express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. So, some of y'all need to make that gesture. You need to talk about it, be about it. Okay? Um, now, for some of you guys, you could just need to be talking to your friends. But it's also saying here, keep an open mind, Leo. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. And expectations. So, whatever you expected. You might have some high expectations for that shit. Or you could be dealing with Uncle Fester. So let's see what's going on, Leo. <laughs> let's see what's going on with you off top. Here we go, baby. Off top, we got the temperance energy, also the eight of cups. So Leo, there could be some sort of imbalance that you're trying to leave behind. But somebody's trying to let go of some emotions. A lot of imbalances as well, okay? Could be dealing with a Sagittarian, or you might just have this in your chart. Um, but for some of you guys, I feel like there's a new start or a new beginning that you are wanting to happen once you leave away from a situation that no longer serves you. So, get your ass ready, Leo. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Make sure you hit that motherfucking like button too. Okay. All right. Between you and your partner, Leo, I feel like a lot of you guys um, could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Queen of Cups, King of Sword energy. So I feel a lot of you guys have this detached energy or someone is definitely not wanting to nurture the situation due to someone's detachment. So it could be uh, someone who has air, water in their chart. But I feel like this is you who's kind of broke free away from the situation. You're kind of wanting to stay in this, but you're also still getting needing that guiding light with that um, with that hermit energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, possible Capricorn as well. All right. But for some of you guys, I'm really feeling like um, there could be someone older or somebody who wants to control the situation. That you've closed yourself off to. Could be somebody kind of immature as well. But between you and your partner, I feel like there's a lot of instabilities that somebody's hanging on to. There's going to be some sort of love. Or someone could be hanging on to an emotional love here with this uh, hangman energy and also the Ten of Cups. So Leo, some of you guys could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Um, but I feel like there's definitely, uh, between you and your partner, a love shift that's happening that someone's kind of waiting for. But they also kind of know that they're not really going to be, be being too uh, committed. Definitely could be dealing with an immature Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel like with this Ace of Cups, Someone is not wanting to offer some sort of love here. They could have had them in a third party situation. Three of Wands up in this bitch. Three. And also with the Ace of Cups coming in reverse, I feel like someone had to let a situation go. Or someone feels like they know that there's some love elsewhere out there for you. Okay. I feel between you and your partner. It could be a Kensetian. 
But there's definitely some sort of forward movement happening here. Somebody's drawing themselves towards you, okay? They're trying to merge you together in their world with this world energy here. And also with the Ace of uh, Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like somebody's going back and forth. Or they're definitely trying to deceive you. Or you could be doing the same thing to them. But I feel like someone is planning some things to bring something together. Also, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Could be some money abundance. Okay. So let's see what you don't see. I feel like between you and your partner, someone has an offer for you. Or there could be an offer. This could be, you know, some sort of financial situation. But underneath the surface, I feel like a lot of you guys have... Um, Cut this energy off, detached from it, and there could have been some sort of restart. Okay, with this Queen of Swords, also the star energy here. So, I feel like for a lot of you guys with the Seven of Cups energy and also the Six of Cups, somebody's keeping their options open under the surface. Could be somebody that you've been dealing with for quite some time. Cancer by Scorpio. All right, also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be somebody who's in a third party situation or someone who has you in a third party. Or there could have been some information, some news that was revealed that has somebody stuck, okay? Definitely could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. So, for some of you guys, I feel like they're, they're wanting to make an offer towards you. Someone's wanting some sort of communication, but they're also stuck in this third-party situation, okay, underneath the surface. Or some of you could be having them stuck in a third party. Okay? So, let's see about possible outcomes. Here we go. We have the High Priestess energy here. And also, uh, with the High Priestess comes the Empress energy. So, I feel like a lot of you guys are wanting to start some things over. There could be someone who's pregnant here with this Empress energy. But I feel... Um, for a lot of you Leos, there could be just something you're in contemplation or something that you're becoming aware to as time goes by or as things are revealed to you, you're becoming aware to it, okay? And you're no longer stuck in this vibe. And I do feel like there is someone who's kind of in and out. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Five of Sword energy here. So I feel a lot of you guys are having to deal with someone, you know, that you're kind of stuck on or someone stuck on you, but you need to get out and get some advice, get some friends. That's definitely what I'm picking up here is why I'm saying let your friends help you, Leo. Because you could be, you know, feeling like there's just this in and out vibe, but you need to talk about it, be about it. Someone kind of feels hurt here as well, or there's someone who feels like there was a decision that was made and they feel hurt because this decision was made. So let's see, um, I feel with possible outcomes, a lot of you guys have new things coming on the horizon. Could be some money um, coming in, some stability here with the Ten of Pentacles sticking out that treasure box. Also with the Four of Swords, someone is definitely thinking about the situation, okay? Or they're taking a break from it. But there's going to be communication, even though you're concentrating on your financial focus, Okay, your security here. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. So someone is definitely worried. Could be worried about some things getting out about someone or um, worried about someone holding on to the things that got out. All right. <laughs> Could be like three different things here. But I feel you guys are going to be extremely successful with the Six of Wands energy. And can't nobody hold you down. Now the truth is coming out. Could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. So money is here, baby, and it looks good, all right? But I feel um, a lot of you guys are really just kind of um, afraid of things that are unexpected or there could be some hidden things and some lies that you haven't really quite seen, but um, I also feel like you're kind of devoted to this situation as well, kind of being, you know, very protective using your warrior spirit, okay? So, let's see what's going on to my Aries, darlings. Let's see what's happening. 
to my Aries. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Romance, angels. Can you give me some clarity for Aries for the weekend? Uh-oh. Free yourself. It's time to take back control into your life and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes things romantically attractive. Uh-oh, Aries. So some of you all might be taking a step back, okay? I also feel like some of you all could be needing to let go of those control issues as well. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Damn, Aries. So there's some things that you need to free yourself from. Take a break. It's going to be all right. And that your self-respect is making you ro more romantically attractive to someone. Or it could be for some of you guys, there's a lot of passion. Okay, because I did see the passion card. But it's also saying that, um, you know, take care of yourself before you try to give everybody all your time. That's really what I'm seeing here, Aries. So let go of control issues. Free yourself. Here we go. I'm going to use the... Um, the, um, what is this called? <laughs> the Game of Thrones tarot. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with you off top. We have the Three of Swords coming in reverse. So you are healing. This weekend, you're definitely taking some med meditation or some reflection to figure out how you're going to heal. Could have been some information or some news or some things that were taking place. Could have been with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Also, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like a lot of you guys um, are, you're definitely healing, okay? Four of Swords energy here, Six of Spears. Um, you're healing towards a victory. You could have been taking some time out away from some things, but I'm seeing you guys are definitely in this vibe of taking care of yourself. Why do I look like <laughs> crazy? But yeah, so you're definitely in this vibe of taking care of yourself. Um, but you're also in a success mode, okay? And straight up beast mode is what I'm seeing here with healing. So some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Uh, healing away from a situation for sure. Breaking into your independence. Um, I feel like some of you guys could have been hurt or someone could have been hurt here in the relationship. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner. So I feel like someone was left out in the cold or someone was definitely in a struggle. Um, but with this nine of coins here, I feel like you're in your independence, you're in your essence. But I also feel like there was someone who wasn't getting a peace of mind and they were kind of all about themselves as well. Um, for some of you guys, there definitely could have been someone who was awaiting possible cancer crisis, Scorpio also, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, I feel like this person had a lot of action and a lot of drive that they wanted to bring towards you, but at the same time, they were kind of immature in their ways with this page of cups, okay? Someone could have tried to have a love offer, or someone had a love offer that is coming their way this weekend, right? Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, World Energy here, ay, yeah, yeah, Nine of Cups too, baby. So Aries, definitely a situation where between you and your partner, some happiness could be um, a lot of emotional happiness coming your way. Your wish fulfillment, because it looks to me like this is an offer here. This is an offer, okay? So Aries, you got an offer coming in. There's some love coming in. There could be somebody who's really afraid to approach this, but they're going to come in. Um, dashing through the motherfucking snow with the Knight of Swords energy here. That cold ass energy could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could be in their sun, moon, or rising. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with uh, someone who could be drinking too much, or there could be too many people that are involved in this situation, or there were too many people that were involved. But be aware of that energy. I'm pretty sure you guys already know Aries. Okay, let's see what you don't see. Eight of Swords, Temperance Energy. So 
I feel like whatever has you in that hermetic mode, you're definitely researching here. Okay, some of you guys could have been worried. There could have been some pain, some anger. You could have been guarded. This could be your person, all right? But I feel underneath the surface, there's definitely some sort of self-esteem issues that someone is looking at. Um, there could be uh, someone who's trying to research some things here. Underneath the surface, y'all, it's like somebody wants to communicate with you, but they're guarding themselves. Nine of Spears, Energy, King of Spears, Eight of Spears. Okay, so there's going to be some communication that comes in under the surface or someone wants to communicate with you tough. All right, but at the same time, somebody's really guarded. So let's see um, about possible outcomes. You got the judgments, the Nine of Swords, Aries. What the fuck is going on? Also, the Six of Coins in reverse. So I feel you guys are kind of worried about someone who's not equally giving to you, or they're not going to be um, ready to start some things back up with you. Or there could be someone that's trying to let go of a third party situation, or they're waiting for this to happen with the Three of Coin energy. So some of you all are really kind of like dealing with someone who's kind of down and out. Okay, they miss you. They know that they either fucked up or you fucked up. But Aries is kind of like these cards are telling that somebody's um, feeling like they missed out on something. Okay, someone was aware. The truth came out. Sun energy, high priestess. It was loud and clear. So something uh, alarmed someone to make a final decision here. So your person could have made a, a decision. There was some truths that came out. Moon energy here as well. Could be dealing with Pisces. Another water sign for sure. So I feel like a lot of things are wreaking havoc on you. But with this communication, you're going to feel like it's a surprise or there's some sort of information. Or it could just pop up. Okay, Somebody could be trying to text you, email you, send you some shit through Facebook. Just a surprise talk out of nowhere, okay? Or there could be some fast information. So, possible outcomes. There's new beginnings here, Aries. Uh, five of Pentacles as well. So somebody's still kind of feeling left out. But um, they're still kind of gearing themselves towards starting a new beginning here with the Eight of Coins, also Ace of Spears, okay? So there's a new beginning. There's a passionate new beginning here. Be aware of that toxic energy could be dealing with a Capricorn, but be aware of the people that are all about themselves, all about making their own lives happy, okay, restricting themselves from other people or keeping other people restricted because they're all about themselves, all right? So definitely be aware of that. Um, I feel like with the four of coin energy here, um, someone is trying to let go of a lot of things. There could have been some sort of rocky or shaky foundation that happened. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a restart. You could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. But there's something here. There's like this karmetic energy you guys are dealing with that there's going to be a restart. Okay. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a lot of water. Also fire. Okay, Aries. Take care of yourself. Don't get too much time into this. Don't, don't get too much into a karmetic partner. You know it's not even worth it. Okay. All right, so here we go, darlings. Let's see what's going on to my side to tell. Romance, angels. Here we go. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So some of you all just need to take a step back, have a little faith, let the universe take over. Uh, some of you all need to stay optimistic about your love life, baby. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, there could be some sort of romantic, um, positive outlook that you feel. Also could be dealing with a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Sagittarius. So definitely could be dealing with that soulmate energy. Somebody who is, uh, y'all are connected, Okay. For the weekend, stay optimistic, trust, and soulmate. Here we go. Let's see what's going on, babies. We're going to use after tarot, Sagittarius. Off top, what's going on with you? Let's see what's up. All right, so we have the magician energy here, the sun, 
Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups, darling. So someone is getting ready to manifest here. They feel like um, you need to call in your power. You need to, um, you could be dealing with some sort of manifestations or some power or some magic here, but you're definitely going to be in the knowing to what's going on. You're using your manifestations and it looks to me like you guys are seeing clarity very soon. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are taking care of your foundations, but also at the same time, there could be a lot of scattered um, and, and kind of like, um, I guess you could say it's kind of like somebody who's not really approachable. Okay, is how I'm feeling for some of you guys with the Four of Wands. Also, um, Knight of Cups energy here and the, and the Five of Swords. So a lot of you guys are thinking about your foundation as a person, someone making an action towards you or someone's love action and how they're romance and how they're romanticizing you. Okay, see if they have some sort of feelings or if there's an exchange or an offer between you two. So, let's see what's going on, because I feel like there's love, but somebody's worried. Here we go. Sagittarius, some of you all could have moved, okay, but I feel um, with the world energy in the Four of Cups, there could be some sort of offer that your person could be turning down, or you could be turning down. All right, um, I feel between you and your person, there is this vibe of somebody who is Wanting an offer to come in, there's going to be some sort of success, okay? An exchange of some sort. Look how she's coming in to greet this person, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you guys, there's um, someone that feels like it's going to work, but there's also someone who's really worried. Um, it could be a lot of people or a lot of things that were getting in the way in the past with someone who could have been distant or you could be dealing with someone who's distant here um but i do see that there's someone who's going to be coming into their emotions king of cups cancer pisces scorpio here also virgo taurus capricorn page of swords somebody's fine possible gemini here as well okay but i feel um for a lot of you guys you could be dealing with someone who wants a connection, but they're having to look a little bit closer or there's someone who's researching you or they're watching you. It could be um, that a lot of you guys feel disappointed and they're having to watch and carefully watch things with a careful eye. Okay, especially with your lover here. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's kind of wanting to break free in their independence. I'm kind of seeing that, but that's just for some of you guys. Now, uh, with this death energy here, they could be wanting to come in with a... Uh, transformation or somebody who's changed or they want to restart or recycle with you um but the two of want the two of pentacles is right next to it and also so is the eight of wands so someone wants to come in and communicate but they're ready for this transformation or someone needs to take a new outlook on the transformation of what they're juggling right so let's see about what you don't see baby what you don't see here we go. Chariot energy. Also king of wands. Knight of pentacles. So I do feel um, for some of you guys, there is um, under the surface, someone wants to make a slow move to you, but they're kind of like on this player-like activity. Okay. They're acting like they're all loyal. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Knight of uh, pentacle energy. All right. Also, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and with the chariot, someone is wanting to make a forward movement. But like I said, they're on that player like shit. Okay. Or this could be you, Sagittarius. But I feel a lot of you guys want that love. There could be some sort of celebration or someone could be wanting to come in and celebrate with you. But uh, someone's trying to control the harmony and control their emotions. And it's kind of like making a disharmony or it's kind of kind of tearing a discord in between things okay um but you got that death energy here and also leo okay but like i said there's someone who wants to um be aware of the third parties okay be aware of someone who could be messaging possible leo sagittarius aries energy here but they're also showing that they want some sort of commitment they do want some sort of offer okay but at the same time this person is afraid 
that they'll be deprived or there could be some things that you'll be indifferent to as well. Okay. So let's see about possible outcomes. Here we go. Justice, energy, bravery. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ten of sword energy here and also um, seven of swords. So I feel there is something that's coming into a fair decision. Someone wants some fairness. Okay. They need to get it before they end the situation very quickly. All right. They could be finding out some truth. Or you could be finding out some truth, Sagittarius, somebody trying to keep their options open. But like I said, there's going to be some sort of invite or someone's going to try to make an offer towards you. It could be a love offer, just celebrating all together. But um, there is someone that doesn't really have any structure and you're kind of having to watch them and watch their loyalty and watch their moves. But I do feel like this person wants to make an action towards you in this connection, Two of Wands and also Knight of Wands. Okay, so they're going to be moving your direction. To try to fix something right tower energy here someone could be trying to take a break or there could be some things that are on the horizon where there's a sudden change where someone's taking a break or the love connection gets a little bit more deeper okay it's just saying stay optimistic so all right my loves i love you guys i'm gonna get on out of here if you need to get a personal read from me hit that description box down below and check out my website lorelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation and working and things of that nature all right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Peace. And make sure you check out my four questions for $25 for the weekend. All right, peace.